Welcome back to Prophecy of Pendor. I am currently in the middle of a journey to Javikshom from, you know, Windholm, which we were just at in the last episode. So, uh, yeah, let's check it out. To Javikshom! Javikshom. Alright, let's take a walk around the streets. The Javikshom is actually the harm. The harm. <laughs> Why am I recording again? It's actually the home of uh, the Lady Valkyries, another knighthood order. We'll uh, check out the castle for that. We'll dismount here. Horse will probably run off or something like a jerk. Zara, the weapons merchant, looks like. Show me your weapons. Show me your wares. Large bag of melti meltine, melatine horse... I keep saying melatine. Melatine horseman arrows. Ugh. Ugh, I hate myself. Oh, interesting. The horseman arrows actually are slightly stronger. Hmm. It's good to know. Also, I'm going to be kicking myself because I know I'm going to get a comment or two that's mentioning that I'm mispronouncing Melatine. Ugh, whatever. Hydrina, the horse merchant. Hello? That's me waving. Um, Harl Forkbeard. Yes. You have another job for me, sir. Yes, I am new to Javikshul. One of the merchants here is looking for a herdsman to take his cattle to a market at Torba. The herd cattle herd must be at Torba within 30 days. Sooner is better, but much, much better, but it must absolutely known later than 30 days. If you can do that, I'll be, I'd be willing to pay 370 day notice for your trouble. Interested? I'm sorry, but no. Well, the job will be available for a few more days, I guess. Tell me if you decide to take it. I really don't want to take it because I'm not taking a straight shot to Torba. You know, I'm going to be diverting all over the place, and that would be dangerous for the cattle and for me, and, you know, I just don't want to take that risk. Door to the shop. Oh, look, a, uh, a male shopkeeper. Enrid. Ah, my Your face looks a little messed up. Uh, let's see. Any goods for me? And no. Oh, look. Flax. It's a, uh... It's a flaxen world in here, around here. Now, I'm not going to take on too many quests unless they're convenient. Uh, for the, you know, for the, um... For this exploration phase. Yeah, I'm like 14 episodes in now and I'm still exploring Pendor. I'm sure that's uh, fascinating for you people. Anston, the, uh, the armor merchant. Hardened Madam Light Plate Armor. Hmm. Ooh, that looks cool. It's expensive as hell, but it looks cool. Um. Also, it's not a totally impractical piece of armor if you look at it. You know, it's a... You know, it's, it's not a boob plate or anything. You know, there's actually, uh... You know, it's, actually a, it's actually just a straight piece of armor. And properly fl flitted. Fitted by the lady... Late... Tavern! For... Adventurer. Hello. Adventurers are actually some of the toughest units in the game, so... Alfred. Alfred the Tavern Keep. Are there any, uh, what are people talking about in town? Funny you should ask that. A sad state of affairs it is, too. It's an interesting rumor from a mercenary calling himself Osti the Osti Red about recent events that seem out of the ordinary. When he was getting some fresh air, fresh night air about three nights ago, he said if, you, if your jakes are overflowing, you should call a specialist in bog work in Gerhardt. He's famous all over Pendle for being a real professional at that kind of job. Very good, thank you. So now we go upstairs, and... Oh, there's people up here. Farmer and Percy Milktoes. Percy, here are any rumors? Ah, well met. I trust you will keep this between us. I was given a little something in confidence. Did, did your voice change? No! I know you will find this at least mildly useful. My informant, a caravan guard, told me a rumor about rogue and outlawed knights. When he was taking a stroll a few nights ago, he said he had heard that the renegade knights badly abuse the peasant women they capture, as well as the apprentice boys in the caravans they take. What perverts those sods must be. I guess they get hard up since even, they, since even the whores avoid them if possible. Thank you, let's... I'm just gonna go over here. Hello, farmer. What, what's the matter, my good man? Band of brigands? Brigands? Bri Band of brigands! I did, madam. Where's your village? Kulum. We're going to Kulum. We also have to go back to Nomar. I almost forgot that. Oh, I meant to go to the castle. So let's go now. And check out the Lady Vac Valkyries. Lady Ironyar? Ironyar is our, our, their, uh... What are their... Their, uh, squire units. I see. Farewell. Lady Valkyrie. Uh, Lady Valkyries... My opinion of them... They're one of the weakest knighthood orders. Um, they're, I mean, they're tough troops, 
But on the whole, they're kind of flimsy, and they rely and they over and they have an over reliance on two handed weapons. And two handed weapons are very risky when you're facing down a line of archers. Is there anything I can do to help? But yes, Lysha, we do need some aid occasionally. I heard you have a posted a bounty. Very well, Lysha. I want you to hunt down as many as you can of those intolerable ruffians, outlaws, and scavenging scoundrel Venskiri raiders and any about rogue knights too. Are you up for some bounty hunting? On second thought, I have more pressing matters. That sounds very difficult. I see. Anything else? Nope. I'm having the conversation long after I close that window, but anyway. Now, let's enter the arena. I haven't been in one of these in a little bit. Sergimond. Yep, you know, yep, that's my name. And let's go to the melee fights, because we've been through this all before. Oh, hello. Ah! Oh, what? Oh, come on. Whoa. I don't have any shield skills, so I probably should try to avoid taking arrows head on. Sidestep. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's win this. Can't even see him. You are beaten. Oh. All right. So let's see. Oh, next guy. You're a tough guy, aren't you? Oh, stabbed you in the face. Stabbed you in the face. That was a really weird scream. Oh, next guy is a two-handed weapon. I'll deal with that. Oh, I'll spam you down. Next, next. Oh, another quarter staffman. Okay, you're unconscious. Another two-handed swordsman. Okay, hit him in the face. Oh, I'm pretty sure I up blocked there. Maybe I dropped it too soon. Your performance was amazing! You're without a doubt a very skilled fighter. Not everyone could knock down 11 people in the fights. Of course, you deserve a prize of that performance. 200 don da donars. Donars. Danars. Nice, eh? I need to leave now. Thank you. Oh, wait. Good to see you again. Well, we'll return him in nearby town soon. Javik Sholm, Janos, and Cinderfall. Well, shame I can't join them, because I'm in Javik Sholm right now. I'm not seeing any turn. Ooh, that's creepy. Creepy as hell. All right. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Kalum first, and then Nomar, and then we'll head down to Valenbrae finally. Now, the fabled Valenbrae. Valenbrae is one of two cities, I believe, that has, completely un has a completely unique, new and unique map. So, uh, we're gonna get to enjoy- Or is Valenbrae the only one? Valenbrae's the only one, I think. Still, it's a very nice map, so we'll get to check that out. The village of Kaloom seems unremarkable. Well, it's... Man, man, I just sound like a douche when I do that. You know, just analyze it. The town of Kaloom seems unremarkable. Well, it's a, medi it's a medieval village. I mean, let's not, let's not judge it by too high standards, you know? Oh, right! Ah, oh, my organs! No! Farmer! No! Other farmer! That better- No, 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 I'm in mine, okay. Whoops. Guys, do you mind giving me a hand back here? Maybe? Might be in your best interest if you helped your commander. Well, we're busy fighting up here, ma'am! Ow. Wow. I really hurt my horse. Sword to the face! Victory! Oh, I'm on the... Look at this roof. This roof is amazing. Actually, my horse is more amazing. Because it's on a roof. Oh, oh, let's check out... Yeah! My horse is... Not really standing on anything there. Oh, where did you go? Oh, there you are. That Ravenstorm man in arms is really stealing a lot of kills, isn't he? Alright, come on, Pandora recruits. Kill him! Kill him! 
Oh, the farmer got him. Your disappointment, all of you. All of you are disappointment. Okay. Refuse! I don't need your goods. I just need the honor it will give me. Or, I mean, I've... My motives are not selfish. What are you talking about? I am perfectly unselfish. Let's just... Let's go. Let's go. Ride, ride, ride! Okay. To Nomar. Oops, I almost selected Tragmar, which is beyond Nomar. And almost a straight line. Kind of impressive. Asgard Militia Patrol. Hey, hey, hey you jerks. Well met, my lady. You're a welcome sight for weary eyes. We hail from Asgard. We had a rough time of it, lord, uh, of it, lord, avoiding enemy lords and raiding parties. You're searching for thugs and bandits. Well met, valiant militia. What news can you share? Well, yesterday we met a young noble lad while he was hunting a stag. He told us a story. He heard rumors that Igrim the Devourer has bo has bo had boasted that he looked forward to meeting someone called Lysha because he fancied eating the still-beating hearts of brave warriors. What? I mean... Impressive. Uh... Who? Oh, that was creepy. And speak to Village Elder of uh, Nomar. I've heard a fellow, fellow, fellow villagers made it safely to Windholm. My many good, my good madam, and our village is grateful. They should make a more honest trade there, and they send their regards. Please accept some of our famous bread. You won't find this quality in other t in the towns. Om nom 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 nom. Delicious, delicious bread. Well, okay. On to Valenbre with us. I'm a little freaked out by that Igrim the Devourer rumor. Who's Igrim the Devourer? Okay. Perfectly candid. I know who Igram the Devourer is. I know. I know who most of the unique spawns are. Yeah, that that just spoiled that. But uh, you know, for the sake of for sake for the sake of the role, I should pretend I have no idea who he is. All I know is he sounds like some sort of douche. Douche, douche, douche. To Valenbrae with us. Hello, Rain Merchant Caravan. Shall we? Oh, Vanscurry Raiders. Vanscurry Raiders. Uh, I want to see if I can fight them actually. But wait, my troops are a little weak. It's mostly weak fr weak, weak troops. Weak troops, yes, weak troops, rather. Jarl Talvor the Fey. Ooh, that's a bigger unit. Oh, and Lord Hothgar the Fat just... Just ninja'd my kill. My catch. My murdered... murder -lizing. I don't know. So let us go to Valenbrae. Let's take a walk around the streets. At the unique, unique, unique location that is Valenbrae. Look at this. Look at this. We're gonna go to the castle first because it's the most convenient to reach, obviously. Hello, guardsmen. Let's go to the castle. Oh, I wanted to ride with my horse. Valenbrae is the headquarters of the Knights of the Dawn. The Dawn Wyvern here, Wyvern, 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 are the Wyvern, are the, um, are their squire unit. They are, uh, heavy infantry. And Knights of the Dawn. My enemy, my heart has no business with its enemies. Be gone and make amends. Um, are the, are heavy, are heavy cavalry and very deadly for, and very deadly. Um, as you saw, he called me an, en he called me an enemy. Because several knight orders, Knights of the Eventide, and the order of the and the knights of the ebony gauntlet um, all um, start with negative relations with you, and you have to bring them up to zero if you, you know if you want to interact with them. The dawn are the easiest and probably the most worthwhile. Um, there's there's a lot of lore behind here, but you know I'll get into it over time. Isidore, the horse merchant, good to meet you. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the uh, what you call it this, uh, this thing here, this item shop. Board hacked. Hello? You have a weird name. Can you not rub it in? Okay. Let's see. Tavern's on the far side of town. Yeah, as you can see, there's lots of scene objects and props. It has also has its own unique siege map and everything. Valenbrae is definitely is definitely uh, one of the uh, one of the best parts of this mod, in my honest opinion. Look at that, look at that. There's a set table over there. There you got, you know, there's a moving boat out there. You know, it all does is kind of move in the same circle, but... At the same time, given the limitations of Warband's engine, that's damn impressive, really. You know, let, let's not, let's not shortchange it. What's this? A boat! What's that? 
A chest on the boat? Wait, could this be? Could, could this be? Yes, it's the hit. Sweet. A thick Empire Immortal Shield. That is a damn nice shield. I can't use it. But I'm sure I'll have. But I'm sure one of my. Uh, I'm sure that Leslie will be able to eventually when I give her enough shield skill. Nice, and we got lots of loot boxes. So there you go. Now you see these. These can be very lucrative sometimes. You'll get nice. You'll sometimes you'll get rare. Sometimes you'll get crap. You know. Sometimes you'll just get a bunch of loot boxes and some cheap items. But sometimes you get really nice items out of those rumors. You know. So always ask around for rumors. For, uh, from pay for paid rumors rather. Let's see what we got here. The armor, the uh, uh, weaponsmith, rather Reese. I want to buy a new weapon. Let's see. Fine sword of war, long composite bow. Fine long composite bow. All right. Let's see. We're gonna sell the loot to him. We're gonna buy this fine long composite bow. And then we're gonna buy some burbed arrows. Burbed. Some verbed arrows, rather. <laughs> verbed. Okay. Um, blunt steel pole hammer. Buck de Corban. Okay. And if you didn't guess already, we are buying these for uh, for uh, Julia. So let's do, let's sell the crack hunting crossbow. So we uh, you know we spent most of the we spent most of that money we just got from the loot, but Brunhilda, the armor merchant. The armor merchant. The armor mer 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 I don't know why I'm stuttering. Stop it. Stop it, me. I'm not drunk. Stop acting like you're drunk, me. Oh, my eye! I just ran right into that thing. What is that? It looks dangerous, whatever it is. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt me or not. I just hit R to auto run again, and I just realized I can't. I've been uh, playing some Final Fantasy XIV. A, a, a game I've been tempted to actually kind of do some recordings of, but I feel like I should have started that when I first started the game, you know, giving you my impressions as I was doing it. Yorn the Axe. Well you have to have a job for me, Yorn. Escort a caravan to Torba. All right, I'll escort this caravan. Torba's not on the way, but it's in the direction I'm going, and it's not like I'm leading cattle around. But it is kind of a dangerous trek, so. Door to the tavern. Mercenary horseman. Bernard the horse. Bernard the horse. You're poor man, that's a horrible nickname. I know. Richard, hello, Richard. You have any heard any rumors of interest? I did come across an interesting yarn that you may find of value. By the way, be careful. The Brotherhood has had some inquiries about your activities. I bumped into a traveling merchant after sundown yesterday. He relayed to me a story regarding Knights of the, the Knights of the Dawn. A handful of days ago, he was taking a stroll. He heard from a drunken fishmonger that one should never take Estrella's name in vain. If they hear of it, the Order of the Dawn will abduct your son as penance, putting him to work in their stables. Worst of all, the boy will end up as fanatical as his masters. As fanatical as his masters. Thanks. Brayden? Yes, yes, yes. Lady Lysha, you have come at just the right time. I do, I do indeed have a rumor for you. I met an acquaintance named Harl of Torba while dining yesterday who told me of an interesting rumor concerning the Knights of the Dawn. Uh, yes, it was two days ago in the afternoon. He was walking home. He heard from our Barclay diplomat that the Knights of the Dawn were once a noble order, but in the past century became corrupted by their own virtue. Now, the nobility of his nation were simply eager to be rid of them, so sent them on a mission to Pendor to be rid of them. Dicks! Wait, aren't I from Barclay? Well, uh, they're still dicks, but, you know. Alright, and that is Bark, and that is our exploration of uh, Valenbrae, rather. Yes, I'm your escort. You follow my lead. I'll take you through a safe route. I hope. I hope. This could end badly. All right, Julia. Let's see. Let's uh, see your equipment. Let's get you this composite longbow, barbed arrows, barbed arrows. Yeah, bar balanced board, b b balanced boar spear rather. And now, we shall travel. This small, mer this tiny merchant caravan. You notice how these merchant caravans are so much smaller than the uh, than the normal ones that run around? Why is that exactly? Wait here for some time. All right. Just I, I wait occasionally so they can catch up. Um, actually, since we are now going to enter the Shard territory, it's gonna be a good time to fit, to wrap up the video for now. So, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, etc., etc., etc. And I will catch you next time.
when we explore the Dashar Principalities of Naltar, Torba, Singal, and Iskoman. Until next time, everyone, I will catch you in Pendor. Or something. <laughs>